had a go with uh, one hand on their third UEFA Super Cup, and I would imagine it would be the sweetest of the three. They wiped the floor with their city rivals in that first period of extra time. Graeme, you talked before the game about the possibility of laying down a marker on a night like this. I rather think Atletico are just doing that right now. 100%. You could see it from the first couple of minutes. You know, this was a serious game for both teams. And I think they've shown, what has shown me so far, I think Atletico are better. I think Real Madrid have taken a step backwards. Yes, they're still a fabulous team, arguably dominating most of the possession. Some wonderful slick first time and two touch passing, but you ha they haven't got the X factor anymore. You know how many times you look back in, in the last seven eight years for Ronaldo in games like this has come up with the answer. It's There's not a, there big, anymore. a big gap there, There's isn't no there? No goal threat, no goal threat at all throughout the there through extra time, and that was pretty much towards the back end of, the, of normal time as well. And, Physically, as I spoke about earlier on as well in the game, physically, they have been too much too much to, to handle it. For a, a real mess at the back there. Um, we were just about to see the, the, the two goals there. Um, but Atletico showed they can play as well, Kevin. They can play. They've, they've, they've got top-class players. They, we, we've spoken about so often. They love defending. As a unit, they're well organised. Um, that is as good a strike as you'll see anywhere. Speechless. It's an absolute brilliant strike from Sol. Lovely pullback, yes, but that is as clean a strike. Going away from Navas into the top corner, brilliant goal. Ram Ramos was outrageous. <laughs> you were after him, were you? No, I mean, when we see it again, he's passing, the, he's passing the ball to, I think it's Varane to play a one two on the edge of his box when Varane's got an Atletico player up his, up his backside there. And this is a total move. great first time pass. The goal, goalkeeper Navas, though he's on the way out, he hasn't got time to get settled. You can't, you, goalkeeper's like to take a couple of steps, get settled, get on their toes and go. He's still on the way out. Uh, talk about physically, physicality. What about Diego Costa for that goal? <laughs> he just brushes Carvajal aside, he swats him down. He was brilliant. He, he has been excellent. Diego Costa, I mean, he is he's my, my favourite striker that I'd love to watch okay. in world football. <laughs> Well, it took 120 minutes uh, to separate one side of Madrid from the other, but Atletico finally uh, broke down the Real defence and swept them aside uh, in that extra time period to claim this year's UEFA Super Cup. And my, how they enjoyed it, Graham. Look at that. Don't mm. tell me the UEFA Super Cup doesn't matter. Well, it's a derby. It's yeah. being played um, outside of Spain, but it's still a derby. It matters to them. And, and we called it, and it, I thought that was a fabulous game of football. Mm. Normally this time of year, you know, especially in games like this. It's just a yard below where the pace has to be. But tonight, from the first minute, you saw the challenge Costa on, on Ramos very early on. It, 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 it meant something. What, it was a real deal. What, what do we take from it, bearing in mind, you know, maybe fitness levels weren't yeah. quite where they are? Well, and... Atletico fitter than Real Madrid mm. at this stage. That's the one thing you can take from it, clearly. Um, what else you can take from it is that they are going to be serious contenders this season. Atletico Madrid, they've got a serious squad, serious set of players, and in that man up front, Diego Costa, he will trouble the best of defenders in Europe. They've got a se they're going to have a serious chance this year, yeah. I think it was two contrasting styles. You know, <clears throat> the modern way is to dominate the ball, press high, possession stats, that leads to goals. And I think that secondary for Atletico, we saw that in the cup final against Marseille at the end of last season, they're quite happy to play without the ball. And they know they've got players who have got acute pass in them. They've got players that can finish. They've got costs that can rumble and cost, create, uh, create mm. chances and, and score goals from nothing. And he did that tonight. You know, you think of the two goals he gets. The, the, he's involved in a build-up for the, the, where he robs Carvey Hallow, yeah, just out-muscles him. Yeah. You know, he, he, they're a different, they're, they're different mould to all the other top teams out there right now, I think. They're continuing doing what they're doing. They're just getting better at it. They're adding yeah. players. Better getting players. Stronger. Te well, technically, they've improved again. Yes, they will. They continue to have that, but they've, they they'll will never lose that that little, that core to the team, that that defensive mindedness, that unit. They will never the, use that. They, 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 that. they, they did go behind um, the chaps. So we go back to the the, the second half of, of normal time there. Um, a real penalty, which we're going to see see now that, uh, why it was awarded. Um, there was a little bit of doubt before this uh, whether Bale handled the ball. Anything yeah. in that? Yeah, yeah, it looks like half on his shoulder, maybe. I don't know, it's a hard one with that angle. But we don't see a, a clear view of it. Prior to that, Juan Fran is, is, um, he's got his hands all over Benzema. And then he loses, he, he doesn't know where he is and he panics and he doesn't know where Benzema is and he, he just panics. And that's where the arm comes up. Mm. I think we thought we were talking about the penalty as well in here, Ramos taking it. Would you not want doing a bit of a Conor McGregor there as well? <laughs> yeah. But you, would, what would you want there? Would you want Bale or, or Benzema? Bale's supposed to be see, the man now, stepping up to take the penalties, and he wasn't. See, see what Marcello does there. It's, but it's criminal. <laughs> it's criminal. Trying to keep this ball in play. It's gone out for a throw-in for you. He's trying to keep it in play. Why? 
do it up the other end when you're attacking, not there. And it's inexcusable. He was he was responsible for one of the goals tonight, mm. and and Ramos for two. And this this game mattered. They played as if it doesn't matter those two. At times, they were guilty for three of the goals they conceded. So pro so problems for Real. Okay, obviously life after Ronaldo. That, that is a problem. Yeah, that, that, it could that, be easy. Tommy, their football tonight. I don't know if you agree, Kevin. That football is as good as what they were playing last year, but they didn't have the X factor. You know, the guy, the guy who can get the goals from the games are so tight. Is, is this a, a personality thing, Graham, or um, just a, a tactical thing? Or, you know, is it, is it's it the a whole... quality thing. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with their football. I think Courtois will improve them greatly. I think sloppy play on, on certainly on three occasions, if not four occasions, that led to goals against Real Madrid tonight. The, the quality of football is good enough. But I come back to it, the, the tight games, the games, you know, we you expect your special players to be the difference. They've just got rid of the special player they've had for the last best part of a decade. He's, he, he, separate, he was separated games like this. He was the one that did something special. I will come back to that penalty, though, as well. Yes, Ramos finished the penalty well, but where is Gareth Bale taking on that mantle? Where is he mm. puffing his chest out and saying, look, I want this penalty, I ain't going to be the main man this season? That just... I think that, that is a message there that mm, they are going to miss Ronaldo. We, so we're going to miss that, that. that real strutting figure yeah, just, um, yeah, up front. Do the, you think that Florentino Perez sitting up there is thinking, I need to go and sign a, another superstar here? Because he, he I know thinking, it's too early to make conclusions. another manager in two months. <laughs> <laughs> but he can't draw conclusions on one game. But we asked before the game, will Bale, will Benzema, yeah, there was, there was Isco, so, Asensio step up? So that? many times today, uh, Tommy, particularly in the second half, in extra time, there was, there was absolutely no threat to Atletico Madrid's back line. Ronaldo, even if he's out of games, he will continuously demand from others, demand the ball from others, trying to get in behind. And I just felt as though Benzema tonight, playing as the striker, Kept on coming too deep and looking towards uh, coming towards the ball, no threat in behind, and that is where they'll miss him. In the tight games, how many games can you think back in the past where Ronaldo has done something ridiculously good? That's won them a game. That's got them in front when they're under the cosh, maybe. He, he was a unique player, and and I see this Real Madrid team having a difficult season. I really do. I think, yeah, the football's good enough. And three quarters of the pitch, when you get into the, the, the bit that matters, they don't have what I call the X factor. People talk about, uh, I think Dave mentioned in commentary, that at times last season they weren't actually that impressive in a lot of games that, that we would have watched them. The so does he fine. have to go in now and actually say, lads, I know you're the Champions League holders, but we've got to change things. I'm going to bring in a new style of play. Does he have a mandate to do no, that? No, he can't. No. no. He'd be out of a job. They would get him out of a job quicker than Perez would. This is a ridiculously difficult dressing room to manage. You, you saw it there, what you've touched on, Ramos taking a penalty. Who's going to challenge Ramos in that, in that dressing room? What one of the strikers is in? Wait a minute, strikers take penalties, mm. not centre halves. He wants to be, a, you know, you see what Ramos says. At times he can be fabulous, at times he can just be a bit of a showman. OK, I'll tell you what, we'll head back to uh, Keith and Dave uh, let it go about to receive uh, the UEFA Super Cup and uh, get some summing up thoughts from them. Back to you guys. Yeah, thanks, lads. Now the celebration's ongoing in Tallinn. First piece of silverware that these two clubs could have brought back to Madrid and it is going back with Atletico, the Super Cup trophy that is. Third time they've won it, second time under Diego Simeone. As he adds to his ever-improving CV. We saw the Real Madrid players getting their runners-up medals, Keith. You wonder will any of those medals ever see the light of day again? Probably not in comparison to the Champions League medals that they've had in the last three seasons. Simao and Gabi have lifted this trophy in the past for Atletico Madrid. Diego Godin joins that list of Super Cup winning captains. They raise the trophy aloft in Tallinn. Finally, they get the better of Real Madrid in a one-off game. Having put four past their city rivals, and boy, does that set the La Liga season up nicely. They are the Super Cup winners in 2018. And boy, did they enjoy it. A super night suitably uh, of football. My thanks to Graham and Kevin for their super analysis tonight. The first uh, silverware of the European season has been decided in Tallinn in Estonia, but it was the city of Madrid where loyalties were well and truly divided. Let it go, uh, claiming local bragging rights for now. Thanks for watching.